What sound does an owl make? <laughs> this is the illusion reporting from somewhere on Spaceship Earth. Uh, I'm out with Owl. We're taking a walk down the street. Kind of gives you a look at what we're looking at right now. So I, uh, I just got this email from from James, who's doing an artist residency out in Ireland. Says he's been watching a lot of Illusion and uh, was giving me some love, some props. So thank you, James. I also want to thank Lon, who uh, continually has been donating to the channel. I do appreciate that. And uh, so I'm out here and I've been experiencing what you might call a writer's block. I think it's been almost a couple weeks since I last made a video. You know, the last video I made was after the big madness and Las Vegas went down and, you know, I've been, I've been sort of tripping out on, on this, this thing we do right here on YouTube because, uh, you know, there's a, it just seems that everything's gotten super polarized and there's only like two camps right now. And there's the, uh, the people that are awake and aren't afraid, that are willing to bat ideas around, that can see through the, uh, the facade of uh, mind control. And then there's those who are fully asleep and caught in the mind control who are afraid to like explore any sort of critical thinking and ask any sort of real questions, right? And so, right, right, what, what was that bird? So uh, I've been kind of feeling like, uh, because I do like to explore what it is to be a, a spiritual being inhabiting this human form down here on Spaceship Earth. And there used, I think, before there used to be sort of like some, some ground, right? Some, right, right? Where people, it wasn't so just cut and dry. And I think that's sort of taken the fun out of it a little bit because I'm willing to talk and, and explore any sort of ideas. And yet, just the negative energy in the sense of, of people are so just, if they, don't, if they don't agree with you, they have to go out of their way to like shoot you in, shoot you in the kneecaps, right? Spiritually speaking. And... And that is like this weird form of censorship. And then you got this whole thing with YouTube and censoring and all the social media platforms censoring everybody and not that stoked on that kind of stuff, man. It's sort of a buzzkill. I'm all about people having a, the, a place to express themselves. I'm not too into the caring about whether they monetize or demonetize sites like whatever man I don't see that as censorship yeah but I, I don't like the algorithm shutting people down and then I think about I can see it in my own channel but then I go maybe I've just sort of worn out my welcome so to speak and then I then I get a positive message from from James what you want to you want to go is that what you want to do again this is another bad video <laughs> incomplete thoughts so what i'm going to do is i have a i have a bunch of videos i just haven't posted i'm just going to do a big like purging of my phone i have two two trips from this summer I haven't bothered to upload. 
I've been just real sloppy with my whole YouTube thing. And like I said, it's, it's. Yeah, just what he said. It's just like that. So I'm gonna upload a bunch of stuff and try to get back in the groove of this thing, right? Because, uh, why not? Why not? Why not? He's about to start talking, so he's gonna need to, uh, look at that. That's pretty rad right there. So, so, uh, that's it. We're gonna, we're just gonna, we're just gonna, uh, have to get through a bunch of, uh, videos. I don't know. They're all, they're, you know, stream of conscious type stuff, but they're sitting on my phone. I should upload them. And then I said, I have two family vacation videos I made. I should upload those. And then, I don't know, man, do you, do you dive into the deep end of, of what this human experience is about? Or do I just sit here up in my monastery? Because the one thing that I'm truly about is if you just sit and hoard yourself to yourself in the name of consciousness, you're not really doing anybody a service. Like we're supposed to interact. I'm not some sort of like Tibetan monk up in a monastery. I'm a dude with an iPhone on the west coast of California with a little sidekick named Owl. He's all fired up on that truck coming this way. So maybe I need to, maybe I need to pull my head out of my ass and get back into the rhythm of this thing and stop being so self-involved. Cause that's what it is on a certain level. It's just being super like self-involved versus just letting my freak flag fly. When I let my freak flag fly, everything's fine. It's only when I become ego, right? Ego tells me to edit myself and try to figure out the deeper meanings. Like this all has to be some sort of deeper meaning, dude. There has to be some sort of deep. When, you know what, man? Maybe I just need to like let go, have a good time with it all and stop trying to be meaningful. I don't think I really ever tr do try to be meaningful, but I've definitely, I think that's why I've had this writer's block, so to speak. So anyway, James, this one's out for you. Thanks for sending me the email today and uh, I'm gonna pop out of this writer's block because that's what's really going on out here on Spaceship Earth is that ridge line. What do you gotta say, Al? One last time, what do the owls say? <laughs>